and welcome back uh, to my channel. Today I actually decided to do a different kind of video than I've done until now, which is actually because uh, supposedly inspired because I uh, have seen some comments nowadays, specifically nowadays, um, about how boy groups uh, are not even doing cutesy concepts anymore, and even girl groups right now have stopped doing a lot of cutesy concepts, which is why the photos right now are of the queens of cutesy concept, um, which are Twice. Um, but even Twice, for example, clearly if you go for their last, like, three, last three comebacks, they're not very cutesy anymore. They, they are growing up, they're becoming women, and their music is also evolving exactly like they are. And it is a bit more specifically towards boy groups, and so I decided to use a few examples uh, today to show you sort of, like, why. I mean, if you think about, for example, the boys, which are the winners of Road to Kingdom, by the way, congratulations. If you go for, like, Giddy Up, and, uh, which was one of their, like, earlier music videos, and you watch, actually, and you go for the views, and you watch the views, and, for example, also... Bloom Bloom, which is probably like, in my opinion, their cute, their most cute song. The views are not bad. I mean, the boys have never really had like a lot of bad uh, uh, results in sense of in sense of views. And if you go watch the music videos, they are very bright and they are very, you know, happy and cute. And the colors are very vibrant and the choreo is very light. And you know, the whole idea was exactly that. And the views were okay, but it didn't really bring them exactly like the recognition that they most likely expected. And that completely changed when No Air came out, which did amazingly well. And, I mean, of course, you know, it was much more mature, the choreo was a bit sexier, the music video in itself was very different, it was much more darker, their whole visuals were different, the way it was shot was very different. The song clearly was amazing, but so were the other songs. I mean, it just appealed a lot more because the demographic and the people that watch K-pop and that watch boy groups, most of them actually prefer these types of, these types of concepts and they prefer the more manly type of concept. Which, for a lot of people, and even now in the girl groups, you see that like powerful concepts are a lot, a lot more famous. I mean. You go for Blackpink, G Idol, like these groups, these girl groups are doing amazing with the concepts that they are doing that are much more powerful and, fem and less feminine. And the boys continued that, for example, with Reveal, which was their last comeback, and it did amazingly well. It's doing incredible, even better than Nowhere by now. I mean, it's been out for four months. Uh, but the boys are not the only group. For example, if you go for another group that was with them and wrote the kingdom, Golden Child. I mean, they've been around for a, l a good amount of time. They have released a lot of music videos. And for example, Let Me was one. And if you go again and watch the views, I mean, you can see and you can totally tell that the brightness and the more like happy vibe of the song and the cutesiness that they brought with the song didn't really register with people and the reality was it clearly was something that was more like okay for them to do at the time maybe the members were minors and their concept fits them better at the time but it did not bring the group in itself what they so to say wanted with the results i mean the views this song even came out a bit later on one year ago and it has one million views which is ridiculous because the song in itself is good and clearly Golden Child now are a lot more well known, but at this time with the, these concepts, it just didn't really fit them. Fit them, I guess, not really. It just didn't fit the people that they were trying to get with these music videos and with these visuals. It didn't bring them the attention that they clearly like need to survive in the industry. And a lot of that changed. That changed when Wannabe came out. Wannabe was a totally different style for them. They even themselves called it a complete revamping of what they were about, their concepts and everything. And I mean, the results are there. They're clear. In just this uh, 1DK official's channel, they have uh, 11 million views. 
And I mean, the song was completely different. The concept was completely different from there, from what they have done until then. It was much darker, much sexier. The sound was very different. It was very much a new wave of sound that even they just brought. They got to what they knew they were good at and they continued on doing that. I mean, Wannabe was just the beginning for them, I guess, because they, the, the next comeback that they released after this also brought them a lot of attention, even more attention than Wannabe did. And that was with Without, uh, Without You, which clearly had also amazing results. And the music video in itself was also within the same spectrum. I mean, it was dark. It was within the same idea of visual visually. The song was also within the same range because they got and saw that it worked out with Wannabe, so they continued that. And people just really liked these concepts a lot more, these concepts a lot better. And it's just the reality of cutesy, specifically with boy groups, more even with boy groups, just doesn't do that well because the people that are catering to the boy groups and watching these boy groups do not feel this sort of concept as much, the cutesy concept as much as this darker concept. You can see that with the Starship's new boy group. I mean, Gravity came out with Break All the Rules. It did very well for a debut and it was very dark-ish. It had amazing visuals, amazing graphic design. It was really well crafted and done. The song in itself was very good. They did an amazing job. I mean, for a debut, it was really, really, really good. And people praised them a lot. And once again, it was another group that debuted with a sort of dark concept. But the reality was Gravity had a comeback not even like two, three days ago. And it was completely different, which was Cloud9. And Cloud9 was very much more bright, cutesy, fun. And I clearly it has only been out for like two days, so I can't really say that the song is not gonna do well. But I do fear that there is a very good possibility that the song just won't do as well as the debut did. And of course, many people could say, well, the debut clearly had the hype, and now the hype is sort of be gonna be a bit gone. So maybe that's also why it won't do as well. Yes, and that's most likely also a reason. I mean, that happens usually a lot. But the reality is we cannot take the uh, idea away that it could potentially be because it is cuter. And I mean, like I said, this is not just for boy groups. It is m attacks more specifically on boy groups. But we have seen this with girl groups. I mean, Twice was hated in the beginning for by a lot of people for their cute concept. Specifically outside of Korea, many people just didn't like their cute concept. People didn't understand it. And for people, it was much more like, why would we like Twice if we have Blackpink? If we have other girl groups that are doing greater concepts in the sense of empowerment. Because people didn't see empowerment for women in cutesy concepts. But that's not really the reality. I mean, Twice's concept is really a beautiful concept of a woman showing the journey of a woman become, going from a child to a woman. I mean, and many people have said that, and I totally see that too. And, I mean, Twice is not the only group. Clearly, now they've matured a lot, and that's amazing. Their songs are still incredible, as they were before. But like I said, they are not the only groups. Other groups are also doing a lot of, a lot of this, like, more cute, feminine style, for example, Wiki Mickey, which is a group that had everything to be a amazing and t and like hit breaking group because it had two members of IOI, which were incredibly, incredibly t uh, known in Korea. But their concept kind of fell flat. I mean, it also f I feel like it was also because like just in general, their concepts and their music videos didn't really appeal to a lot of people. It wasn't necessarily because of the concept in itself, but also because of just in general the songs. But the songs are good. They're catchy as heck. The choreo is also very catchy. It is very much like a different refined version of Twice. Uh, in the sense of like being very catchy, having the same elements. They're, I'm not comparing them at all because they're not comparable. But you know, both groups had everything to like be great and Twice clearly did it. I mean, Twice are like literally the top three go best K-pop group ever. But Wikimiki, for example, I feel like they are not getting that elevated people knowing them, people going towards their music. 
and it is maybe a lot because of exactly their concept not fitting what people nowadays look at for in K-pop. I mean, they're uh, not latest comeback because they had another one just like yesterday. But before this, Dazzle Dazzle was also like, it was more refined, it was more sophisticated, but it still had like that feminine, cute vibe about it, specifically in the chorus. And I myself thought because of the visuals being a bit more sophisticated, I thought the song could have potentially done really well because again, the chorus is really catchy, the dance is really catchy. So I thought, what could honestly go wrong? Like the promotions were good. Astro is a, is a group that is within their company and they were doing amazing, even though they also had to change up their concept because they were a bit more cutesy and they only started to actually get recognition when they got a bit more hip, swaggy and sexy. But that's, I guess, like I said, the reality. So I believe that K-pop groups are being more like shoved into sexy concept and pushed away from cutesy concepts, which I don't know if you agree. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you believe and what you think it is. But yeah, I'm going to be leaving my socials right now here, uh, my Instagram, where I post a lot of like cute, fun uh, K-pop memes uh, of many many groups like mostly all groups you could possibly think of they're there and if there aren't any group that you would like to see please let me know because i would love to know a bit more about new groups i'm also going to leave my twitter here it's the same name <laughs> just to keep it <laughs> more e easier um you can also follow me on there i don't post a lot on twitter but i do like talk to more people on twitter and yeah, subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to do that and click the link, uh, click the little bell to get notifications. And also, please and like the video to let me know if you enjoyed this type of concept, this type of video. I mean, I didn't really want to talk as much as I possibly did, but yeah, let me know if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.